morning, Centurions. I'm Sahara. And I'm Reese. Let's start off the day with what's happening for lunch today. Today for lunch, we'll be having beef street taco or chicken alfredo with seasoned beans, green salad, and fresh orange. Thanks for the lunch today, Nolan. Let's move on and see what's happening with the weather with Brody. Today for weather, there'll be a high of 71 and a low of 45. This week, it'll be between the 60s and 70s, so make sure you're prepared. It's seen as getting warmer out. Let's see what's happening with sports. Our Centurion baseball and girls soccer team have a game this afternoon at home with Cranes Creek. Come out and support them as the two schools rival. Their game against St. Lee got rained out on Wednesday, still waiting on those rescheduled dates. Thanks for the sports, Kaylin. Check out this ad about the 8th grade luau. Hey, 8th grade, we have a luau, May 13th from 7 to 9 p.m. Get your permission slip turned in your homeroom teacher. It's free. We've hired a professional DJ. Ask your homeroom teacher for the link to make three song requests. Some of the party options include glow in the dark dodgeball, dancing, pinatas, limbo, three on three basketball, dancing, and more. Food and drinks are also covered. Aloha. Sounds like fun, eighth graders. Switching gears, this Saturday is a campus cleanup. Here's more information. Please join us for New Century's Recycle Drive on Saturday, April 30th from 9 to 11 a.m. Please bring your clean bottles, cans, cardboard, and paper to New Century's car rider line. Our green team will gladly recycle for you. Join us on Saturday as we beautify your Centurion campus. We will be spreading mulch, planting new flowers, even some new trees. Come on out and join us, get PBIS points, get free candy, and get entered into the drawings. If you come and help out the clean up, you'll get 25 PBIS points. And be entered into a prize draw. Sounds great. Let's see what's happening with the stain history. On this day in history, in 1965, an effort to forestall what he claims to be a communist dictatorship in the Dominican Republic, President Johnson sends more than 22,000 U.S. troops to the island nation. Johnson's action provoked protests in Latin America and many in the United States. Thanks for those historical facts, Caroline. It looks like Sahara has a joke for y'all. Why was the baby strawberry crying? Why? Because her mother was in a jam. Well, that's it for today, Centurions. And that's, that's Channel 97, 97 News. Have a great day. Rising ninth graders, are you interested in being a cheerleader at Union Pines? The tryout meeting is today at Union Pines at 5.30. Tryouts will be May 19th and there are training sessions that week. If you'd like to get more information, please see Ms. Grooms for a tryout packet. I'm Emory and this student on the street and I'm here with Addison. What's your favorite food? Spaghetti. And who's your favorite eighth grader? Emory. <laughs> okay, that's it. Now, now let's check, check out bloopers. On this day in history, in 1965, an effort to force <laughs> 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 focused on filming. <laughs> <laughs> now let's. <laughs>